Hey, what's going on? Ogopogo here, back in subsistence. How's everybody doing? So we left off last episode, we just got back and checked out. The rogues have moved from over there. I did check the map overnight a couple times. And uh, nothing's really spawned in. In the, in the areas that I can see where we've opened up all through the valley and around the lake here and stuff, nothing popped up with the... Ex Excuse me, with the exception of, uh, there is, whoop, wrong button, sorry. There is one over here by, up right in here by this waterfall, up in that, that little area that we ran around that's kind of like the, the O shape. So I'm pretty sure that'll be a rogue too. However, that could be our first base popping in, but we'll check that out maybe a little bit later. Wanted to get a few things done today. Um, well, okay, two episodes ago, we placed the BCU down. Now, I apologize. The, you know, the, the people that have been watching, the, the viewers that have been watching so far, I know are, uh, you know, experienced players. And I forget that there's could be, you know, people just new to the game coming along. And I do mention it sometimes, but I completely forgot to explain with the BCU and you place it down. It's basically the gateway to your power source and your base. And this is where you can craft your, some of your advanced, your tools that you're going to be using, uh, plant beds and wood burners and generators, power storage, your fridge, stoves, mass power generators. How it works is you have basically two power outlets you have your power your main power and um that is generated by generators solar panels wind turbines it will the base will the power base command unit will generate the power on its own up to 500 anything that you need over 500 you have to generate yourself mass power is um generated on its own up to 100 so again you see like some of the higher end like even the workbench you need 120 mass so we'd need to have a, a mass storage unit in there to boost that that'll double it up to 200 so we can obtain the 120 and you generate it through uh, the recycling items that you've found or crafted in the world and um through the mass fabricator what the mass fabricator does is basically takes power generates it into mass and it's it's very expensive but that's usually the struggle most subsistence players have is is with the mass it's it's just a matter so what we got to do when we get set up in our main base is we got to make sure we got lots of mass storage it's nice to have i like to crank mine way up like to you know even a thousand because you can, once you get enough power generating in the base, you could run out and loot for the day and have your mass fabricator running and, and fill up your mass power. And that just gives you the ability to craft multiple items rather than waiting around day to day for, for the mass to build up on its own. So anyways, what we're going to do to start off with, I, the last episode, we placed this in episode six, last episode. I just kind of ignored it and let it charge up. It takes, you know, a little while for it to charge up on its own. Usually a good portion of the day. But we want to make, the first thing we want to do is get ourselves a wood burner made. These campfires here, they burn through wood very fast. And they do, uh, this is like the third one I've built. You can see the power, or the, the hit points at the top. So they will deteriorate in time. So we got to get ourselves... Our wood burner made that's gonna help us a wood burner you can stoke it up and let it run all day it'll run all day till you get back home at night so we're gonna need looks like three cloth seven planks and seven of the uh, scrap metal so we got all that stuff we need three cloth and we need seven of these dudes so let's get that done So that's going to drain us right out. Pretty close to right out. Use 450 power and 75 mass. And you can see now, it's coming in at a rate of 0.33 per second. We've got zero going out, obviously, because we've got nothing. We're not using anything. We haven't got nothing crafted yet. 
but it's slowly building up. Oh, here's another thing too. I was going to mention when I find vegetables uh, early, early game. Sometimes it's tough. I mean, you're you're struggling, can't find berries, things like that, and kelp you haven't got. But I I like to try at some point. I like to try starting any vegetable I find. I always convert it into seeds. I really really like to get a good seed bank going so we got you know we, we never run out because especially once we start crafting our premium foods and stuff we're gonna need lots of uh lots of veggie and to me it's just a better turnaround like that onion i think it's two i can't remember what it is two or three onions you get so that one seed that one onion instead of eating it i mean who'd want to eat a raw onion but you know i don't mind onions but anyway you, you break that down into a seed, you plant it, and you're going to get three onions out of that one seed. So it's... I try to, to collect the seeds as best I can. Like I said, early game. It's pretty difficult. Actually, you know what? Let's place our thing down before I get brave. Now, I want to keep this... I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this ash out. We'll extinguish this. We're going to get rid of this so we can get at least half our resources back. And because I fished down in this corner at night, I, I hopped down the rock. I did fish last night and I got a couple small fish and a salmon. We're going to need some protein and stuff anyways. But anyways, I like to keep that wood birder in this corner. It just helps to uh, keep us warm while we're fishing because I went out last night the fish there is an ore out on the rock here and even just out here i started freezing getting taking some hit there or some uh cold damage so let's just throw this guy right in the corner for now anything can be moved at any time so except for the bcu and the bcu extenders the bcu will only have a range a certain range i don't know if i can see it with this guy just for the those of you that may not no, it doesn't work with this one but it, when you place something down you'll get a blue bubble around your base and that shows you where you can place things and sometimes you want things a little further than where that bubble extends all right let's stroke this guy up like i said i like to keep the wood burner going because um we're gonna need the for the first little while, we're going to need the ash, all the ash we can, because we're going to get a plant bed going pretty soon, too. I'm not going to light it just now, though. Let's not light it, because we're going to be doing some work around here for a bit. I want to... Uh, let's go get this guy. He's only a level one. Make sure I got some ammo in my pistol. Nice. Three shots. I like to crouch down, get right down at the level. I find shooting down at them, it's easier to miss. But when you also crouch, you get a better risk, a greater risk of... Uh... Look at that. We got a couple livers. How perfect is that? Let's grab this stuff here. Wash our hands. So I think it's important to wash your hands. Get COVID out here too. We'll just grab this stuff quick. Yeah, now we got a liver. We've got everything else in place. We can make ourselves an antidote and keep it on hand. Just uh... and cook one liver. That's going to be awesome. You know what? No, I'm not going to shoot him. Let's get this chicken while we're out here too. Oh, and he misses. Okay, Ogo. Need to warm up a little bit, I guess. All right. Yeah, I want to do a couple things around the base today. I know it should be... I should be taking advantage of... Actually, I don't know. Now that I... Didn't see much on the map. Maybe we should take another run around. Try to open up a little bit more of the map. Collect a few more things. I wanted to maybe... Get ourselves in a position where we can uh, get our bait... Our, the outside of our base a little bit more secure. 
Another thing I was thinking about when I was fishing last night is I should extend this out a little bit just to kind of block off this area. Like maybe out to here. Just to block this off down here because there are a lot of bears and wolves that come up here and I know I've been in, you know, swimming around the lake before and been here and had animals come in the water after me from up here, so. I'm not too sure yet. Anyways, let's get this uh, antidote made. We need five of these guys, five kelp. We got one liver and we need three of those. And we can craft ourselves an antidote. I feel better that we got that. And also we have two left. We still got some fish oils that I can convert later. So let's take that. Let's take, I think it's, yeah. One of these and a cloth, piece of cloth. Let's make ourselves a medical kit, or med kit as well, health kit. Keep that on us just in case. You know what? I'm going to end up firing this thing up because i got to get this liver cooked. And also, this is where you render your fat. We've been storing that away from the couple animals we've killed. And you got a place to render it in here. You can either shift-click it in right from the interface or drag it into that slot. And that's going to convert the fat into biofuel. And I think, I don't know what it is. I think you can put a maximum of 20 fat in at a time. And I think that gives you like 53 biofuel, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a good turnaround. Let's get this liver cooking as well. Now, I like to keep this guy down here. Now, my number seven key, I... I Tried it with bandage, tried it with the med kit or the health kits, and it works good with the health kits for me. But what I do is I bind uh, one of the keys on my mouse to uh, to do that rather than the seven, because quite often I'll go to grab my number six, which is my uh, pickaxe, and I'll end up hitting number seven on my keyboard and use a health kit, even if I'm you know down, taking a little bit of cold damage or something, it'll use it and waste it. So but I'm feeling better already. We've got a antidote made. Let's put that in our storage. I should carry it around, but it's not a big deal to keep it stored away. Um, we'll convert these over, make some more uh, medicinal tonics a little later. So I think what we'll do really is we're gonna do this. We're gonna, I got lots of planks, some nails and some cordage. So let's get our uh, patio kind of laid out at least, and then we will take a bit of a run around. I wouldn't mind running up to that area and just seeing if it is in fact rogues. Because it's an area where you can see from a bit of a distance, so we should be able to get up there and and not worry about it. All right, we got a liver. Let's eat an apple, a couple berries. Oh, I gotta get some water filled here too. I'm kinda saving my berry water. I don't wanna use it unless I have to. Okay, let's get up here, you chubby guy. All right. I should actually make another canteen here, too, to be honest with you. Let's look at that. It's good to have a, an extra one around. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Why not? Let's get ourselves in better shape, right? Every little bit helps. So yeah, hope everybody's doing good, man. It's, uh, man, we're just struggling times. Like up here in Canada, like there's cases just breaking out everywhere. You know, I was proud of how we handled that first wave, but it's uh, getting out of hand with the variants and stuff. So I just hope everybody's staying safe and happy and not having to suffer in any way. Whoops. Get this out of here. We should actually drink that and go fill that again too. I was gonna do that earlier and completely forgot. Now I, st I I always struggle with that door coming out, but I'd rather have my door swing in. It's just if you're running away from something, it's it's a little easier because you can get snagged trying to get in your base if the doors swing out. So okay. Anyways, let's get busy. So we're gonna need four foundations I think we we said for sure we're not going to make too anything, anything too elaborate here we just want to kind of protect ourselves 
there's a good chance before we even start thinking about moving down to the south end that we're gonna have some encounters and some attacks possibly so i want to get a little staging area set up where we have a bit of a place to defend our base another thing i like to do too is these bushes if they come and attack you they like to hide behind the bushes so i like to we're not going to do it now but we're eventually going to make ourselves some steps or something to place over top of the bushes that just kind of throws them off when they go go to hide you can still get a good view on them vision on them all those are crafted let's just go down and grab this container we see a moose over there didn't get to see what level he was I'm not too confident just yet in there's another container over there but there's a black bear there and I really don't feel like oh a bandage how sweet is that bandage is two cloth so that's a good find all right we have some uh, foundations crafted, so let's go place those down. It's not going to take us long. Killing, uh, killing our daylight, but I want to get this in place and get ourselves situated. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this guy out. Rotate that. We'll throw that there for a minute. Let's get this guy now. I'll rotate that a couple times so we get the... I'm not, like, overly anal about getting everything lined up perfectly, as you can see, but... There's been times I've built a base and thought I was done and then look up at the ceiling, at my f ceiling panels, and... They're all going every which way. So, yeah, like I said, I have number seven bound to one of the keys on my mouse. So you'll see me quite often when I'm building and stuff. I like to throw stuff in that slot because it's just a little easier to grab. Eh, see, I didn't even line that up right, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm not overly anal about it. Awesome. Yeah, I think... If we were to go down or go another level, yeah, we'll leave that. Because if we go down another level, hey, there's a sandstone right here. Man, there's so many distractions in this game. Hey? I feel like dug on up. This squirrel. Squirrel! Crackers mentioned that in one of her videos one time, too. Too many squirrel moments. I just laughed my ass off. Sorry about that. Something in my throat. Okay. Yeah, sandstone. We want to start collecting that stuff for sure. Because in our uh, south base there, we're going to use lots of glass. And I got the pickaxe out again. Let's get this guy down. I think we will put one more here. I'm going to change this around just a touch, I think. Could even maybe go one more. How are we doing on stuff? Oh, we still got lots of nails in that. So let's take advantage of that. Let's put one more here. Might as well. It's potassium, but we'll use it. Potassium's so awesome for, uh, well, gunpowder, definitely. But it's also very efficient for plants too. I mean, yeah, you got to spend the power to, to cook it down, but I mean, you only use, I think it's 15 potassium. I don't know what they call it, fragments or whatever. After you've refined it, you, uh, it's only like 15 to fill a plant bed as opposed to, I think it's like 125 ash or something like that. And I like to save the ash for gunpowder. I've been in situations so many times where I've ended up 
screwed myself. Okay, this one here, animals will be able to still get up that way, but it just kind of protects our little cove here. Now I'm wondering if I could throw down, let's move this guy. I know I'm gonna probably end up screwing around here most of the day and but it's it's progress. It, whatever we do is is some progress. So let's pick a quarter ceiling panel. Will a quarter do it? Yeah, because I think we got enough support here in this corner that it's not too janky if we just throw down a quarter. And then I think I'm gonna try running the steps down that way. We'll just see. It's not such a big waste. If we do this, let's try it out and see. Sorry, I gotta keep looking around my mic filter here, so it's and I'm old and it's hard to see, so how does that look? Now are we gonna be able to jump back up easy enough on that? Oh yeah, I guess, eh? It's not too bad. It's a little bit rough here. Yeah, we're still okay. I think that's got that's good. I don't mind that. It's a little bit janky, but whatever. Okay, coolio. Let's throw this stuff in here. So I think. Another thing too is I was thinking of actually adding on another room. I don't know if I want to get carried away with that just yet. You know what another thing I thought about too after a couple episodes ago when we did this and I was leave thinking about leaving this open. Like if they do attack there is a possibility, a slim possibility but still a possibility. They could launch a grenade up and in here so we will throw up a, a ceiling panel here. Just to lock it in. That's a little better. A little more secure. Like I said, good chance that they wouldn't be able to launch it up in there, but you never know with those guys. You never know. Okay. I think we'll just leave it at that for today. We got something accomplished maybe get some railings down the road or something i'm even thinking maybe along the front like starting here and along the front just put up some half walls just so if they do come and attack we got somewhere to duck i like to have a second floor for for battling but i don't know like i said i really don't want to put too much into this base because we're not going to be we're not going to end up spending a great deal of time here so All right, we're gonna have to get some more cordage made too. So I'll bring that along. Maybe we'll get that crafting while we go roam around. Do you want to take it a little bit, or take advantage of some time that the, uh, I, I haven't seen any hunters spawn in yet, but like I said, we'll go up and check that corner out and see if that is hunters or if it's in fact just the rogues. And we're going to have to get some more protein too anyway, so. Alright. We're getting our, our powers building up. Still haven't found a lock crate with our lock pick, which is good. Because that gives you... It's so tempting when you, when you come back to your base at the end of the day. And you find a lock crate. And there's something you want to craft. But you think, I, I really should get another lock pick made just in case. It's so tempting. I wonder. The way I shot at that chicken, I don't know if I'm going to be any good at a headshot here. Let's see if we can get lucky. No. Not even close. Man scared him away. Total waste. And look at that. We're already losing our sun. We're getting into the later part of the day. What a waste of uh, an episode. Sorry about that, guys. Playing around with the base. Let's take a run up and just see what we see up there. We gotta do some more fishing tonight. 
I mean, I'm still sitting on 13 arrows. I wasted one on that chicken, but you know, I'm not using a lot of arrows, so that's, it's good. We're just conserving. We're getting away with just using fish. Jeez, I don't know if I'm going to have time to make it up there. I didn't realize the day went that quick. Holy crap. Well, yeah, I've been recording for 25 minutes, so I guess, eh? That's a level three. I don't think I'm going to tangle with them. Speaking of which, I should get that reloaded. It comes up, uh, get the uh, pickaxe out again. Wouldn't be a good episode without me running around with that. Also, I wanted to give a shout out here. I've been, I started watching another, uh, well, he's not a new channel, but he's new to subsist, fairly new to subsistence is, uh, Durgils. He does a very similar play style. He's very conservative, really cool to sit and watch and to listen to. Very thorough. He did his homework on the game. Just a cool guy, and he just hit 500, uh, 500 subs. Doing awesome. Just just seems like a really cool, laid-back dude. And I think he says he's got five dogs, so, I mean, how could you go wrong with a guy like that? I love dogs, man. They're my absolute favorite thing in the world. Oh, you're right there. You're level one. Let's uh, let's take a stab. Yeah, see, so you got a little close in my face, but we did all right. Yeah, check them out. I do put. Uh, I got links in my description for the my favorite channels and the ones I like to support. You know, like I said, I, I like most of us. We watched, you know, Game Edge and. And Onokono stuff like that. They're they're bigger channels, and uh, you know nothing wrong with that. And congratulations to them. But I'm always like pull for the underdog, so I, I like to really support the smaller channels and the the ones I can interact with. They're just over here somewhere. I don't want to spend too much time because it's getting really late and that sun goes down wicked quite uh, really fast so yeah I can't see anything over there it might be down below it so you know what I'm gonna just watch the map tonight if they don't move by the uh, end of the uh, by end of the night yeah we're taking some hit damage anyways let's get back and we got bears around But I'll uh, check the map again, and if they don't move for a second night, then there's a really good chance that it's... You know what, we might have to get our uh, trusty glow stick out. Now the glow stick too, if you click on it in your inventory, you can change the light color. I kind of like the... the gold or the yellow. All right, let's get back to the base. So yeah, very uneventful episode. Apologize for that. Just want to make a little bit of progress there. I shouldn't have. That was probably a bad decision. Time to build is when you get surrounded, you know. But I guess I was a little eager to get that done. Kind of like the, uh, the BCU. Now, I normally when I play sit down for a decent playthrough I usually wait quite a bit longer let's see I've got a rabbit here too I don't know what you guys can see and I apologize the moonlight is really helps out now I noticed oh there's something here too okay we might have to do a dash for the base Oh, it's a bear too. Okay. And once again, totally spaced on what I was talking about, so I apologize for that. 
it, it, this game is just so friggin' distracting. And it's like Cracker said to me in a comment too, like it seems like once we start recording, we lose part of our brain cells. Just kind of watching around. It's getting late. See, there's a there's a fire over there now too, so. And we're taking cold damage. Let's get back to the base. Anyways. We'll chat more next vid next video. I'll remember what the hell I was talking about. That's what happens when you get old kids. Get yourselves prepared. Yeah, this gives us another uh a bit of an easier access into. Alright. We made it back. And let's get that axe out. That we love that thing, don't we? Sweet. Let's get some meat cooking. Get that in. We'll get this guy. Sorry, buddy. Get him on. And we're going to call it an episode. And there's that fire over there. So we're going to... Let's just take a quick peek and see. Yeah, see, these weren't here yesterday or last night. So we got one right down here in the corner just as you exit the lake towards Ortastic there. On the other bank over there so one of these could possibly be I'm gonna venture to say I like I would think this one might be our first base it's hard to say we'll take a look in the morning we'll have to I'm looking forward to that we'll go next episode we'll go scope that out and see I'm not seeing much else around on your mouse button or on your map if you're in your map and you just hold your mouse or your right mouse boat jeez let's talk there ogo your right mouse button move it around then you can uh check out what's on your map that's all i'm seeing is those two so far so we'll check those out in the morning next episode and uh see where we stand All right, guys, that's going to be it. I don't want to keep you. We're in the dark, and I apologize. I can't wait to get some lights going in here so we can kind of chat it up a little bit. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Take care of each other. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Thanks for all the support and the commenting and the, just the interest in the interaction. Love it. Take care, guys.